Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. So uh, look, we're going to jump right in. So the theme for today and what we're covering is, is how to stop being stuck and create through conflict or resistance. Can I just quickly ask how many of you have felt yourself as you're, uh, you know, as you're creating, as you're focusing, maybe you want to make more money or start a business or start a new relationship or lose weight or whatever it is, get a, get a new house. And, and as you're creating it, uh, things pop up that get you distracted. Hey, does that, does that happen to you? Things pop up that get you distracted. I think there's not a single person that'd be like, no, no, when I create, I just, I choose what I'm going for it. And then, and then I stay in the end results and I go for it. And so, so what's actually uh, true is that uh, you actually need to neutralize that first. Uh, many times uh, when we're creating, we're going to get triggered and we're going to get um, pulled in different directions. And we, we actually need to come to a neutral place sometimes and then get ourselves refocused. And, and, um, and the reason why this popped up for me this week is I was talking with a client and uh, this is a, she's a really amazing client. She runs a very, very, very successful business, multi-million dollar business. And we were talking uh, this week and, and she's having a really hard time. You know, uh, the government in Australia is, is making it very difficult to be successful in this business. And she's been fighting and fighting. And, um, you know, she's she's having to have start let go of staff um, because of, you know, new vaccine rules and just like all sorts of things. And um, some customers can't come in because because she works in the um, in the medical field. And so it's been it's been a lot of chaos the last few months. And uh, anyway, she's been choosing it and choosing it and choosing it. And, uh, and look, the, the choice has been to create this business and then sell it. And, and that's been the choice. And, and it kind of came up to it to a head, you know, in the last couple of weeks, where she said, you know what, um, they've made it so difficult for me. Uh, I think I'm just going to sell it now. And, and what's interesting is, is you know, that's, that's her choice. And, and that's always been available. However, uh, instead of just focusing and going, all right, I'm going to go sell this business and I'm going to go, you know, cash in my, you know, my hard work. Instead, what's caught her attention is how pissed off she is at the government. And so instead of just going, okay, this is what it is. And her end result is to cash in on a business and make lots of money, which is, that's a true, her true end result. Um, now, now uh, she, she's gone and, and taken this, uh, this government on and she, you know, she's booked in a time to talk to the local MP and she's, she's going over here. And so she's, she's triggered, hey? She's now going over here uh, to fight a different battle. And, uh, and the, the truth is, is that that's not an end result. Her end result never was to, to, um, to fix government. Does that make sense? Her end result isn't to fix government. It's triggered her into, into going over here. The end result is to create, it's just this makes sense, everyone. This is her end result, create a successful business and sell it. And then, you know, and it's, it's all good and it, and, it, and it all makes sense, but it's just not her end result. The end result isn't to go that way. And many times when we're in our end result, things can pop into our current reality and get us to get us to go and get us to move. Uh, another client that I was speaking to may actually be on this call uh, just yesterday, get, got triggered in a different way. Uh, this person got an email and this email uh, took them to a, to a new marketing system. And uh, this new marketing system was to put on a summit. And so she, her trigger was, oh, wow, that looks easier than what I'm already doing. That looks easier than what I'm already doing. And so she said, Chris, well, look at this. They do this summit. They invite all these people in. They do this thing. You know, I should go do that. And I said, well, what would even inspire you to do that? It's, 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 uh, it's triggering us in a different way. And Jax, you're on that conversation. And so um, I think, um, the, you know, we won't talk about person saying, but it was, a very, it, was very, it was very good. And so what happens is, is as you're creating, okay, your ego is going to look for ways or your identity is going to look for ways to resolve any resistance that pops up. Okay. And so instead of just accepting and going, okay, I'm, I'm still going to sell my business for profit. Uh, <laughs> there she is. Is instead of, instead of just saying, I'm going to sell my business for profit. Now we're off, you know, now we're, now we're off fighting the government. Hey, 
now we're off fighting the government. And that, that's, I mean, and that's, that, you know, it's a nice thing to do, but it's not the end result, is it? And fighting the government isn't going to help her to sell her business for profit. Hey, or, or we're going for something and all of a sudden, and it's hard, the marketing system's hard. And as we're fighting through it, all of a sudden, you know, this other thing looks easier. So we go start there. Who's done that before, by the way, you're in creation here. And then all of a sudden, oh, I should go write a book and you're off writing a book and you don't actually launch your thing or you, you go, you see what I'm saying? You get pulled in a different way. So, so as you're moving towards your end result, right, you're, you're here in your current reality, that is terrible. You're here in your current reality and you're going towards your end result or your desired result. As you're moving towards it, what's going to pop up is, is natural resistance that you need to overcome. So you, you're going towards it. There's going to be things that you need to overcome and then you need to overcome this and overcome this to get there. But what happens is at each one of these moments, whenever there's a resistance in the way, there's a second agenda that comes in. And the, the, instead of going towards it, we go over here to solve the resistance. Who's experienced this before? Hey, you're going for something. Hey, you're going for something. And as you're going for it, naturally what pops up is, is something that, that isn't that is in the way, whether it's a, you know, you don't get the result you want, some sort of learning experience. And instead of taking the learning experience and staying focused, you, you go off to try to fix that. Hey, you go off to try to fix that. And it's very interesting to, to, to always pull yourself back to it. So we're going to talk about this today because sometimes this can become your focus. And then years later, you wonder, why have I been fighting the government for five years? Oh, that's right. I wanted to, to create a business and sell it. Five years have passed and now I'm fighting the government and I, and I didn't even end up selling that business. Is it true? It did right. Like, you know, my end result was to do this and then something comes up and that takes my focus and my attention and I end up chasing something else. And it's like, is that actually what I wanted? Is that actually what I wanted? True? Hey, Ben, is that what I wanted? And that's a very interesting thing. And, and I look at this and reflect on this sometimes because many people, they, you know, they might start out to create freedom. That was the end result of create a great life. And then all of a sudden, their life is taken up by all this other stuff, all this other stuff. And they end up over here and you ask, is that, is, is, is solving, is this what I wanted? Or, or am I now just caught up in, and I'm actually not getting the thing that I want by solving this, you know? And it's very, very, very sneaky. Would you guys agree? It's very bloody sneaky. I think it's very sneaky. So, so, so write this down. In, in order to get triggered, you must be loaded. In order to get triggered, you know, you must be loaded. Hey, it must be loaded. There must be something there. So in order to go, oh, that marketing system looks easier, there must already be a loading in your brain about, oh, God, this is hard. Hey, and I don't like hard. You see, I want eat. So I'm going, oh, that looks easier. And, you know, you always, you already must be triggered. Oh, there is, and, and this client's, uh, this other client's triggering is that there's, there's always another person that is stopping her habit the way she wants whether, and, and I, I love, I love this person. So I hope that they do watch this, whether it's their brother or their husband, or it's, uh, it's, it's a staff member, or now it's a the government. There's always someone else that won't let them go and get what they want. And, and so, so once we shift and remove other things, all of a sudden now this is the thing and that's what I must focus on fixing. But the month before that, it was, you know, the husband or the brother or the staff, it was always someone else that's in the way of this consistent consistent uh, no beatrice uh but but maybe uh and so, so it's very very uh and so so in order to to get triggered you must be loaded okay and the, the second thing is is if like uh, the the more of a you know a open wound or unresolved emotion that you have uh, the more it's going to trigger you to action and i'll give you an example if i took a feather and, uh, you know, I put a feather across your arm. First, you might go, Chris, that's weird. Why the heck are you rubbing a feather across my arm? Okay, so, so I get that. But it wouldn't hurt, eh? It wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt. You'd just be like, look, I thought you were weird when you're doing the recode. 
this has just gone too far, but it doesn't hurt. However, if you had an open wound, let's say like you, you fell over and you grazed your arm on, on like the pavement, hey? and, and it was open. And, and then I came along like a weirdo with a feather and I, and I, and I, and I put just, just stroke that feather across that open graze. That would bloody hurt, wouldn't it? You would jump a mile. Make sense? Because if it's, if there's something open there, if it, if it's a, if it's a wound, you're, you're going to react, but it's actually not the thing. So consider that is yes, uh, the, the, this client of mine is having a really hard time. Yes, that's that's true. And yes, there's all these crazy, crazy rules, but it's the it's the uh, it's the triggered response. It's the loading. You see, uh, uh, of course, there's lots of different marketing systems out there for this other person. But but someone who's like, I, you know, I'm re this is really hard and, and I don't want it to be hard and I'm not I'm not good enough. I'm not capable to do it this way when they see another option so that they can avoid that they're going to move really quick. Someone who's got an open wound of, you know, a person's going to reject me. They're in a relationship and they start feeling a little bit of rejection. They jump a mile. You see, does that make sense? That they, they jump a mile because the wound's still there. True. Now, is, is this person broken because they do that? Of course they're not. Of course they're not. They, they've got a learned instruction. There's something that's learned. It's a completely normal thing. It's learned. There's, there's something there, uh, but it doesn't. It doesn't mean that we have to keep living from it. Hey, hey. It, it's like, oh, cool. All right. So, so that's what's there. So, so the first, the first point that I really want to get across is your action shows where you place the power. Thanks, Juniper. Thanks. Hey, your action uh, is the highest form of communication. So, so, so where you put the action shows where you're placing the power. Okay. So, so if you get a, if you get all all mad at someone, that you're you're giving them the power. Hey, you're giving them the power. Where how you act shows where the power is. So the, the power is in a the power is in this, and it's not in you. It's in a new idea, or it's in it's in getting angry. Someone else has the power, so I'm going to get angry at them, okay? Because because I can't I can't do it. And it was interesting because when I explained that right now, there's probably one of the better times to sell a business because there's loads of money around, like incredible liquidity. I couldn't think of a better time to sell a business. Uh, it was like. You know, that's that's what's obvious to me. It's a brilliant time. People keep coming, trying to give me more money for my houses and businesses and stuff than I've ever thought was even. It's a really good time. So, oh, well, I'm like, yeah, it's actually a good time, you know, and and it was like instead, though, we're, we're racing off doing things. So anyway, uh, the, that's the that's the real first point that I want to make is that your your action shows where you place the power. OK, so if you look at what you do, what you're getting angry at, what you're blaming. And so one thing that I've noticed in myself is that when I'm creating end results, when I come across a lot of resistance, I will typically put the power in other people who are not, uh, uh, you know, when I'm in my biggest dysfunction, be like, oh, this person or that person, rather than then realizing, well, it was me that hired them or it was me that, you know, engaged in that relationship. It was me that did that, you know, uh, and there was something that I created. So I put the power to them. So, so it's nice to observe your action shows where you've put the power. OK, that's the that's the first point um, that I want you to get. Uh, the second point is that resistance is expected. Resistance is expected. There's this real wacky idea out there that we just want to be like, you know, the witch, uh, you know, like Sabrina, just be able to close our eyes, you know, wiggle our nose and, uh, you know, like I'm bewitched and, and things will just show up and, and that we think that's actually how we want life to be. You know, we, we think that that's how we want it to be. And, and the truth is, is that uh, that's very boring. You know, if you know, of course, it'll be a dream come true for the first minute. Hey, but it's kind of like the Midas touch, isn't it? You know, our, it, there's there's nothing to go for if you just get it all. You know, I'll get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. You know, think about it. You just, well, I get that, 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 I get the the woman or the man of my dreams. They're exactly as I want them. I get the perfect. I get it. I get it. I just get everything, and it's all just done, and there's nothing to go for. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Is that is that even though our ego thinks, oh, that would be so amazing. It's not actually what we want because uh, then there's, there's nothing, there's nothing for us to engage in. Hey, there's nothing for us to go for. True. 
And so it's like a lot of times we have a very interesting relationship with resistance. I mean, imagine if you went and watched a sports game and um, one team was just so much better. So imagine it was like the, you know, the United States basketball team playing um, under 12s, you know, and they just win like 100 nil, right? Like that, that's not the game we want, is it? You know, we don't go watch a movie and the movie says, oh, she really wanted this guy. She said, hey, I really love you. And he said, I love you too. And then that was the movie. Is it true? It's not, it's not what we engage in, is it? Like a, he wanted to start a multi-million dollar business. He made done every right decision and he got it. And then everyone thought that he was amazing and everything was just, you know, that's not it, hey. It's just not, it's not what we engage in. In fact, if you, if you really want to understand what humans are very interested in, is that we're actually very interested in something called the hero's journey. And to summarize, you know, Joseph Campbell talked about this a lot. We set out on a new adventure. This adventure is new. It's something we haven't done before. And because we haven't done it before, we're going to face temptations and challenges, and we're going to have to grow and overcome resistance, uh, you know, pacify our internal dragons, come to the next level, and then we do achieve it. And then what happens is, uh, is, is now, uh, we get to a new place and then we go seek out new adventures. And we know that those new adventures are going to have challenges. Does that make sense? So I'd love you to really reframe resistance and things that are going on and go, you know what, this is expected. Hey, this is expected. Like uh, it's expected and smile at them. You know, it's expected. It's expected that there's going to be something. If you're going to, you know, something that, that I'm, I'm dealing with is like, I want to grow a hundred million dollar company. And, and right now, like there's lots of things that aren't right. And I'm like, oh, I've got to, but it's expected, isn't it? You know, to grow from a $20 million company to a hundred million dollar company. Uh, like it's expected. It's expected that there's resistance. It's expected that there's things that I didn't know as I move forward. It's expected, you know, I was, I was really uh, bummed. I've made an, about an $80,000 mistake. And I was like, oh man, that sucks. I made that. I'm like, well, you know, it's kind of part of it. It's like that. that's expected. You see, it's expected that I'm not going to know that I'm going to, I'm going to make, make decisions that aren't right. And I'm going to learn and I'm going to grow. So it's very important to, to really acknowledge that, uh, kind of the point in the fun of life is is going and creating things that uh, you have you, you you don't know how to create at the beginning. Is, is it true? Can I just get some yes? It, it, like I know that sometimes you're like, I wish it wasn't this hard. But can you see that I wish it wasn't this hard? Like then you end up just getting to the end, and then you go for something harder. Don't you go with something different, something new, something you've never done before? So we do need to change our relationship with resistance or conflict. Hey, we need to change our relationship to it. We need to relate to it as expected, okay? And, and that's very important. It's very important to understand. And, and this is the last point. The last point before we, we get into our change process is to, to remember that you chose it. You must remember that you chose it. No one else chose to, to go on that journey and to no one else chose to start the business. Hey, no one else chose to be in the relationship with that person or to hire that person or to go after that end result. True. No one else chose it. You know, even if this person shows up and they're not right, you chose it, you know, and so I was sort of saying to my client, I was like, well, you chose to have a business in, in this government. You know, you chose to keep, you know, you chose these people. It was you, you know. It was you. Does that make sense? And to really understand, I chose it. And the power in that is, you go, well, I chose to do this. I chose to go after this desired result. Therefore, I chose to get through it. And maybe I thought it was going to be easier at the beginning. Typically, there's that um, cognitive bias of the beginner that, that's it, that always believes it's easier than it is. Then there's the opposite bias, the expert's bias. Uh, that that all that looks at it and go thinks they don't know enough. So it's quite funny. But anyway, you chose it. And the point of it is that you get to choose whether you keep engaging in it or not. And this is why I said to her, I said, hey, look, just just for a second, you don't have to try to fight the government and overcome it and all these things. You can't just choose to sell it right now. You're allowed 
Does that make sense, everyone? You're, you're allowed. No one's saying because because no one's saying you have to try. No, everyone's saying you, you can you can just choose it. You can choose choose to carry on, or you can choose to say, you know what, this is just too hard. <laughs> you know, I don't. And that's interesting. That each moment you you have a choice point. Hey, you have a choice point. You you hate your boss. You don't want to be there. You got to realize you choose to stay or you choose to go. No, I want to choose a different thing. I want to create something else. But but on that, please be aware if you have a pattern of always hitting resistance and then pretending that you're going for something else. There's something. There's something else. So do I really? Am I really engaged in that end result? Is it really, really what I want to go for? If it's a yes, typically at about this middle point here, we're going to start making some stuff up about how we don't want it so much. And it's just a bloody lie. You know, if you a month ago wanted it, you here still wants it, you just got to get through some stuff. You know, it's so a stay focused and make it happen. Hey, so very, very important um, points, very important points. But just remember, you chose it. No one else put you on that journey. Hey, no one else did it, did they? It was you. And even if you pretend with well, someone else, that you gave them the power. True. You said you said you have you have the power you you can choose for me and, and by the way the act of not choosing something means you're in no tension with anything and the world's just going to move you hey and so you are where you are because of because of your choices true very important hey Chris here again I hope you really enjoyed that session obviously it was streamed live to our Magnet Mind Masterclass uh, coaching program if you'd like to be involved in that program please do reach out. Uh, we do have spaces you can uh, apply for and you can join. So do let us know if it's something for you. And again, thank you so much for your support. Subscribe, like, and share this content so we can reach millions of people just like you and help them become conscious creators. Have a great day. Stay super conscious.